What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be showing you my Nextcloud talk setup on an Android phone. Now this is something anyone can do. If you want to host Nextcloud and you want to do it in a more private and secure way, self-host it yourself. Go ahead and self-host it yourself or do as I do. I actually have a trusted friend who actually hosts it at a location where I'm the only one with physical access to the server. And so I know that I'm the only one who can modify that server. And in this particular setup, all we have to do is get Orbot. And this is set up as a Tor hidden service, mind you. And the benefit there is with a Tor hidden service or even an I2P EAP site, which also IDK, the I2P developer, is also written about. And this also has an I2P address. But today we're covering the Tor end. Either one of those is going to offer a way to easily wrap end-to-end -end encryption over a service. And so instead of relying on HTTPS and all that entails, you can simply turn it into a hidden service or an EAP site. Now, all you have to do to get the Nextcloud Talk client, which is a chat window, and you can self-host the stun server and everything all locally. And once you have that up and running, you can then install the Nextcloud Talk app. And once you have that installed, you're going to want to open up something called Orbot. And I've covered Orbot in previous videos, but if you're not familiar, I will open it up and show you. So you just go to choose your apps and you simply enable Nextcloud Talk, hit the save button, and you're good to go. And make sure you connect after that. Then what you'll want to do is open up the Nextcloud Talk window. I already have it logged in on mine. So I'm going to show you what you would see if you were to do this on a brand new installed Nextcloud Talk app. And I'm trying to be a little careful because I don't want to reveal too much information here. So let me see if I can sort of block that. So I go to add account. Okay, in your case, when you first open Nextcloud Talk app, you're going to see this. And all you have to do is paste a direct link to that Onion address in Nextcloud. And uh, so your Onion address for Nextcloud. Now, when you paste that, you're going to hit that arrow there. It's going to load it. Now, I've already done so, but you can add multiple Nextcloud Talk actual locations here. Now, this is a great option if you're looking for an app that can work like another instant messaging app where you control the encryption. Of course, the private key is going to be controlled by whoever has that server. So if you own the server and you have physical access to it, that private key is going to be important to keep private, of course, because that is your security. And so once you've set that up and you've done all that, you're going to have the actual Nextcloud talk app open you'll have that chat window like i just showed and so i'm going to open that up again it takes a moment to load because after all it is a tour hidden service uh, but it works rather well so you can actually share pictures you can actually share video files and another cool thing about hosting nextcloud as a hidden service or website is you not only have that end-to-end -end encryption overlay you can also share files and generate an automatic link for a secure and private file sharing. So for instance, if I upload a file to my Nextcloud server here, I would simply say share that file. It will generate an onion link automatically for me. And so that's another neat thing that you can do is secure and private file sharing. So there's many different things on Nextcloud that you can set up, and there's many different options out there for self-hosting it, which I do recommend self-hosting, of course, because if you're scared of the word cloud, you probably should be. It usually is someone else's computer. So thank you guys again, all of you who share the videos, who like the videos, all of you in the comments. I see you and I appreciate you. Thank you guys so much for your support. And I sent this members newly created chat out to members. And the reason I've just sent it to members is because, you know, for security reasons, it's just not a good idea to invite the whole world into your next cloud server. So at the moment, it's only available to members, current members, actually. Uh, so I do appreciate your guys' support, whatever you do. If you like the video, appreciate that. If you have a question, I'm actually going to be talking more about self-hosting here shortly, and I'm actually preparing for that. And this was just one of the short videos I'm doing. Uh, I will be talking coming up more about self-hosting. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to follow, share the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
if you like this kind of thing, if you like self-hosting, if you like open source intelligence investigations, if you'd like to see more of that, I like to know what you think. I mean, I can't promise I'll do it, of course. So requests, you know, I read them. Um, but I do have a list that I go by on the videos. So I do have a planned list of videos coming up. Um, but I always appreciate hearing what you guys think about this video. So thank you guys once again. And I will see you soon in a video soon on how to protect your security and privacy.